Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and as I record this, it's October the 30th, and earlier this week, Polymaker announced a new formulation for their PETG filament, and as soon as they announced it, it was pretty much right on sale that you can pick up on their website or even on Amazon. I got mines on Amazon. I wanted to try it, and I wanted to see how well it prints. So they didn't give it any kind of special name. It's just a new formulation of their PETG filament, and I grabbed this for about $16. There's a coupon on Amazon, at least when I bought it, that you can apply and that got the price down to about $16, but typically is gonna be around 20 bucks, which is pretty darn good. Now, I am not familiar with the Polymaker PETG of yesteryear, but um, they say that this is supposed to be much better in that it is supposed to be able to print faster up to 300 millimeters a second on a regular normal high speed FEM 3D printer. But if you have one with a high flow nozzle, you should be able to go all the way up to 500 millimeters a second. That's pretty good. It's got a heat deflection temperature of about 70 degrees Celsius. That brings it to around like 158 or so degrees Fahrenheit, which means if you wanted to put stuff like in a car, print it out of this on a hot summer day and this door is going to be closed all day, then it should survive without warping and deforming. And they also say that when you get this filament, you should be able to just start printing it right out of the packaging without needing to dry it. So you can see it's in this uh, aluminum vacuum sealed bag, which is supposed to be resealable. So I'll try not to destroy it. Eventually you will have to dry it like you would any other PETG, but they say that right out of the bag, you should be good to go when you just put it on your printer pretty much immediately and not let it sit around for a few days. All right. And of course it's going to vary depending on where you live and the humidity conditions there. They say that you're going to be getting a smooth finish on your print, some professional quality looking surfaces when you print with this stuff. And of course, it's supposed to be nice and durable, so it won't just break apart if the parts are handled somewhat roughly. They compared it to like uh, flexi toys and kids getting them and, you know, they get destroyed. But apparently if you use this PTG filament, then it should survive under those exact same conditions. But of course, situation may vary. So this is just some gray PTG. They come in a variety of different colors, some fun colors too. Um, they got the regular black and white and silver, but I also saw some blues. I saw a pink. I think I saw a purple. So, you know, pretty good uh, variety of colors, especially if you want to do some multicolor 3D printing. Right, yeah, in case you are wondering, yes, the bag is resealable, you know? So try not to poke it right through the middle. You can just take that out take out the filament and then, you know, like a Ziploc bag, just seal that up and then should be good. So of course it's got that desiccant in the middle as they always do. And it's just a basic little uh, cardboard spool. It's got the discord information on there for Polymaker, support information for Polymaker. It has multi-material system compatible spool. So that's good there. Uh, suggested settings on this up to 300 millimeters per second, unless you have a high flow nozzle, then you can get more printing temp between 240 and 260 degrees Celsius bed temperature between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius. And the drying settings is 60 degrees Celsius for six hours. All right, so I'm gonna make myself a Peacemaker cosplay helmet out of this material. And I got all the settings already queued up. It's going to take a while to print around like 19 hours or so. So I'm gonna get started and uh, we'll see how well it comes out. So it took well over a half a day, but the Peacemaker helmet is finally done. Printed out with that PETG from Pomni Maker. And as you can take a look at, I think this PTG did a very good job didn't dry it, didn't do anything, just put in the ANS, boom, away that it went on the generic DUTG high flow settings. As we look around here, especially on the sides, you can see how smooth everything came out. Now, this is not in post-processed at all. So these parts on the bottom where the supports were connected, these are parts that need to be sanded down as well as over here where the eyes were, in between here where the little peacemaker emblem would go, you know, basically anywhere that the supports were, which was basically on the underside of the velvet and not like actually on the helmet itself. 
if you take a look on the inside, I did not put any support in the middle because usually you can get away with that. But the helmets are round like this. So the inside of it is always going to look kind of you know, really gnarly. So it's really no different from here. And then on the top, that old familiar ringing that we typically get on the top of helmets are circular like this. So, you know, this is definitely something that would still need to be primed and sanded and primed and sanded again. And depending on how shiny you want it to be in the end, depending on the finish that you want to get for finished product. But as far as just a raw print straight off the print bed, I am very happy with this. And I think this turned out pretty darn good. And uh, just to check on the accuracy of this there is that little dub emblem that's supposed to go right here in the middle which i decided to print not in filament but i resin printed this so here's the little emblem and let me just put that in here see the direction it does just like that and of course this will be like glued in or whatever but you can see it's a nice fit right there and also because it's a helmet printed at 100% scale, you know, I got to put it on so we can see. It totally fits. And actually, I probably could have gotten away with making this a little bit smaller. But hey, I'd rather have it be a little bit too big than a little bit too small. Right. So it's a full sized wearable helmet. This is a I'll print from uh, Yosh Studios over on Patreon. So I'm subscribed to them. But. Yeah, success with this PETG filament from Polymaker. And, you know, even though this is not like a test of durability and, and how much can you bend it before it breaks, how much can you stretch it before it breaks, how hot can you get it before it deforms, this video is not about that. I just wanted to see the print quality on something that was large. It's something that took many, many hours to print. And for this first run, I think that this did a good job. And especially for like 16 bucks, and even when it's not on sale, when it costs $20, hey, I think that this did a really great job for just generic settings and not altering anything in the profile. So if you are interested in taking out this filament, I'll leave links down in the descriptions to where you can pick it up like on Amazon. And uh, last time I checked, they had plenty left to spare. So hopefully it stays that way so we can get in on all of fun. So that's going to do it for now. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'll speak to you soon.